do you want to bring in our morning anchor Sally who's been out near the Harwin Drive area in Houston giving us a look at what's happening there some major flooding over that way Sally yeah, I'll tell you what, the biggest change since we last saw you, Caroline and Anthony, is there are so many more people out and about taking a look around, just trying to get somewhere. I don't know where, though. So folks right now, they see that this intersection is flooded here in Hillcroft and Harwin. So they're coming down here in this parking lot, and then they're trying to get through down here. <laughs> well, then they're stalling out in the water down there. So that's a brand new car that we just saw uh, stall out there in the water. This Suburban thought, well, hey, maybe I'll give it a try. They just turned around. The Range Rover did the same thing. I'm not going to chance it. And now look right here at, at these folks here clearing out debris in the water. This guy in the navy blue and red shirt uh, in the blue vehicle just drove in to this high water here. These are good Samaritans now who are helping him out, going to try to push his car up here onto the parking lot. What people don't understand is just how deep this water is. If you cannot see the roadway b below, if you don't see the white line, not a good idea to drive into it. And not only that, but you're dealing with debris in the roadway as well. We've been watching for four hours now as signs have blown into the flooded roadway. We've seen pieces of roofs from the strip center blow into the roadway. And so this is just a very dangerous situation out here. But thankfully, we've got some really nice folks who are helping this driver out. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he's losing his footing because he's in slides there. This is a very, very difficult situation as they're trying to get this car up on to the parking lot here. A lot of these folks have uh, come out to help another driver who just got stranded. And they stuck around now to help this guy as well. Looks like we're, he's been able to get his car up and now he's gonna have to wait for a tow truck here to get it completely out of the way. I will say the one good thing that has happened out here is the rain has stopped. Um, the wind has definitely died down. We were seeing some pretty nasty wind gusts up until about 15 minutes or so ago, and it's not completely out of the way. We're still seeing some, you know, strong, I would say like 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts out here. But this is the best in Houstonians, right? When we see people coming out to help one another, people they don't even know, and they are willing to put, you know, their lives at risk to help others. I will also say that this is a very international community. A lot of different languages are spoken over here at Harwin and Hillcroft. And so I wonder, you know, did people even realize what was happening? Were they getting information um, correctly? And maybe this was their first storm that they've ever experienced here in Houston, and they just did not realize how quickly conditions can change. But the message from the mayor, as we heard, if you were tuning in about 30 minutes or so ago, is stay where you are. Shelter in place a little bit longer out here. We've just saw, right before you came to us, we saw fire trucks going by. First responders are having to put their lives at risk right now to help people who drive into these flooded roadways and so we want to keep our first responders clear to respond to the biggest emergencies out there right now so do, do your part and first responders will have a much easier job at doing their part you can I mean just listen to some of the sounds out here guys this is this big awning that's been blowing down and uh, we're just hearing it crashing against this garage door. The rain is actually picking up again. I thought we were in the clear here, but here it goes again. Everybody just waiting for this thing to pass through so that they can get out safely to look around. My goodness, Sally, I, I thought that, you know, things were easing up because we saw you much, much earlier today struggling with standing out there and not getting blown over. Now it looks like that wind's picking up again and um, that area is looking just so flooded. I can't believe they got that car out of there mm -hmm. with that group effort. But Sally, in the elements for us today, <sighs> it is just, it's just crazy yes, what you're it, showing us. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I, Right, and, and usually I can maintain my footing pretty well, but I mean, these gusts are still like no joke out here. And I just look around and see how many people are still out here, you know, driving around down power lines and 
high water rescues are the number one priorities right now. So if you can stay where you are, help those first responders out. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. All right, Sally, we appreciate you on Hillcroft and Harwin there. Please be careful. Get back safe. I am really empowered, really powerful to see though, the community coming together live TV as they help that gentleman get out of that flooded uh, portion of our city. All right.